In this video, I'm going to create a function in C that's going to fill an array with random integers between one and some maximum integer. So the first thing we're going to do is include stdlib.h because this library includes the rand function that's going to return a random number. We'll also include time.h to help improve the random number generation of our program. So C has what's called pseudo random number generation. What that means is we need to provide a unique seed value each time our program runs in order for the random numbers to be different each time our program runs. And we provide that unique seed value with srand. So here I'll say srand. Now the unique seed value we're going to give is the current time. We'll say here time null. So the time function, when it's given the argument null, is going to return the current time. And we're passing it to srand to use that as our seed value. Because the time is naturally going to be different every time our program runs, the seed value is going to be different every time our program runs. So next, let's actually work on the function itself. Here we'll say void fill random int array int length and int max. So this function is going to fill the array supplied in this first argument that has this length supplied by the second argument with random integers between one and this max value supplied by this third argument. So we'll provide a definition of the function down here. What we're going to do is loop through each index in the array. And then we'll have an assignment statement that sets the element at each index to a random number between one and max. So here we'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus. And this loop is going to take i from zero up until, but not including length, by one. So if I say here, array i is equal to, we'll end up assigning to each element in the array whatever we put here, because i is going to go from zero up until the length of the array, but not including it, by one. And that'll set all of the elements to whatever I put here. So what I'm going to put here is an expression that will produce a random integer between one and max. So here we'll say rand modulus max plus one. So the way this is going to work is that rand will return a random integer between zero and some very, very, very large number. The modulus operator here produces the remainder of a division operation. So we're going to take this integer that's potentially very large, and we're going to do division by max. But what we're going to return is the remainder. And keep in mind, this is integer division as well. So if you have, say, a max of 8, then the possible results of this part of the expression here would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7. And that's just how remainders work. So we can actually expect this portion of the expression here to be a number between 0 and max minus 1. Now what we want to produce is a number between 1 and max. So by saying plus 1 here, we're shifting this range of numbers from 0 up until max minus 1 to 1 to max. So that's what the plus 1 does. It makes sure the range is now between 1 and max, as opposed to 0 to max minus 1. So that's it. This should actually fill the array with those random numbers. Let's test this out now. Here I'll say int a 100. And we'll call fill random with a 100. And we'll have a max of 200, let's say. So this should actually fill the array A with random numbers between 1 and 200. Let's actually output the elements of A to see what happens. We'll say here 4 int i is equal to 0, i is less than 100, i++, plus plus, and we'll print out each element of A. We'll say printf A percent %d is equal to %d slash n, and we'll output i and the value of the array A at index i. So we'll save this here now and we'll run it. And we expect to get a whole bunch of random numbers. And we do. You can see here that the array A is filled with 
100 random numbers between 1 and 200 there. And so we've created a function in C that can fill an array with random numbers between 1 and some maximum value. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.